EA Games. Challenge everything. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. Ron, look! to the burrow, Harry. Did any of you ever give a thought of how worried I'd be? Beds but, but... empty, no note, car gone. Oh, Mom, I... Could have I... out of my mind with worry. Did you care? Never, as long as I've lived. But, Mom... Now get outside and start denoming. I've had it up to here with all of you. Except you, of course, Harry. I'm not cross with you. You ready to do a bit of denoming then, Harry? Well, I'm not sure, Ron. I've been with Dursley so much this summer, I'm a little rusty. <laughs> Try Flapendo on the magical measurer. Try, go on, Harry. Have a go on Dad's magical measurer. Go on, Harry. Have a go on that. That was truly smashing, Harry. Oh. You've got a bird to box every flavour bean. Keep collecting the beans, Harry. They'll come in very useful at Hogwarts, won't they, Fred? They certainly will. Especially useful for us. The Pendo! Once you learn some second year magic, you'll be able to ring the bell. No, Harry, you can cast Flipendo on a whole bunch of things lying around the burrow, and if you do, you might be surprised at what you find. Okay, Harry, target the little pests and flipendo them off the rafter. That's got one! I can use that bean at Hogwarts. That was pretty good, Harry. You've got the little pests on the run. Come in handy at Hogwarts. Come on! Harry, we're out here! Harry, 
We'd like you to meet our washing machine. Huh? Dad tried charming it. Now it's anything but charming. This is a good opportunity to practice some dueling. Dueling? And keep moving around it in class for Penda when the door is open. Don't be scared, Harry. It won't bite much. Cast flip Pendo when the door's open. You can only damage it when the door's open. You look like you need a chocolate frog. Here you go. You have to knock the frog out before you can catch it. Right, let's go throw some gnomes. My first wizard card. We need to get a move on with the denoming. Mum will go mad if she finds any gnomes left in the garden. Look, there's one over there. What you have to do is flipendo them until they're dazed and confused. Wow, I've got to try this. Then you grab hold of them and spin them round. And chuck them out of the garden. Nice one, Fred. That went miles. You'll never beat my record. Right on target. Excellent. Great, a wizard card for my collection. Oh, 
Brilliant throw, Harry. Those things have come in handy at Hogwarts. <laughs> Platform nine and three quarters. For someone who's never denomed before, you've done an excellent job, Harry. Almost as good as Gilderoy Lockhart himself. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. flower pot off the kitchen mantelpiece and everyone grabbed a handful of flu powder. Harry had never travelled by flu powder before and when he scattered the powder into the fireplace he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. <coughs> Diagon Alley! It felt as though he was being sucked down a giant plug hole. Harry tried to keep his eyes open but the whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes wishing it would stop and then, he fell. This doesn't look like Diagon Alley.
against Lucius and Draco Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Ah, Mr. Borgin. Mr. Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you again. The Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids, and I have a few more uh, items like this at home that might embarrass me. Items that you are willing to sell? Correct. I'll expect you tomorrow at the manor to pick them up. Good day. Good day, Mr. Malfoy. Maybe if I tried creeping up on that thing. I mustn't make any sudden movements. could use this to find my way out. The door's locked. Watch out. Get in there. There must be somewhere to stick this thing. I've got to lock this thing away. Get in that way. Ugh. An owl tree. 
Hedwig! She'd only gone one fireplace too far. I was frantic with worry. What's wrong, Ginny? You don't look very happy. The flu powder went wrong, and I dropped all my things in the fireplace as I passed. Would you like me to go and look for them? That's so kind of you, Harry, but I think you'll need to get your things first. What was on your school list? A copy of the standard book of spells, grade two, from Flourish and Blots, and a new potion bar from Mole Peppers. 
Well, let's all go to Flourish and Blots then. Oh, and you might need this. It fell into the heart when you used the flu powder. A silver sickle. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Come on, Harry. Let's go to Flourish and Blots. I'd like to buy that, please. The Standard Book of Spells, Grade 2, by Miranda Goshhawk. <coughs> ah, now that would be one sickle. <laughs> Thank you. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand and cast it when the spell is ready. But be careful. Don't overpower your spells or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Thanks very much. Bot's bean. A Bertie Bot's bean. Harry, did you get your book? Yes, Mrs. Weasley. I can't wait to try out what I've learned. Where did you lose your things, Ginny? I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My new quill definitely fell into the back of Gamble and Jake's. 
and I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my Stella tape, so I think that must be in the Leaky Cauldron. Hmm. Magical Menagerie, Gamble and Japes, and the Leaky Cauldron. Got it. We really appreciate this, Harry. It is so kind of you to do this for Ginny. Yes, Harry. Thanks so much. Now go on, show us what you can do with your new spells. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. locked. Excuse me, how much is this potion vial? It costs eight sickles. Brilliant. Thank you. You're very welcome to fill your potion vial with Wigan World Stamina Potion. The Wigan World in the large cauldron, over there. Thanks very much. I'm sorry, I've completely sold out of everything. But you're very welcome to fill your potion farm from the large quarter. It contains Wigan World Stamina Potion. Ginny said her brass scales were in here somewhere. Didn't you hear me, boy? I said, we're closed now. Go away. I don't know. Kids today. If I'm careful, I should be able to creep past him.
I know you're here somewhere. I wonder if the noise of a spell might distract him. Whoever's out there, I'll find you. No way through there. Nope, not through there. We thought we'd lost you for good, Potter. This is Gamble and Jakes, the Wizarding Joke Shop. I've got to look for a quill in here. How much are our stink pellets? Four sickles for a pack of ten. Go on, try the magical measurer. You'll need to cast a perfect flippendo spell to make the pointer hit the top. Flippendo! Excellent, a perfect flippendo spell. No way through there. If you want to get the magical measurer to the top, you'll need to cast a perfect flippendo spell on it. To do that, build up the power on your wand for as long as you dare, and then cast the spell just before it overpowers. Stink pellets. Eh, hey, Potter? An excellent purchase.
Hello, Harry. I saw Mrs. Weasley looking for you. Hope you ain't been creeping round that nocturne alley. Terrible place. You'd best stay away. Oh, Mr. Potter, delighted to see you again. Make yourself at home and have a good look around. The cellar is full of surprises. Ever read Gadding with Ghouls by Gilderoy Lockhart, Mr. Potter? It's a cracking good read. Do I know you? Oh, yes. You're the famous Harry Potter. Pleased to meet you. That Gilderoy Lockhart's a fascinating man. And so good looking, too. Butterbeer's the best drink in the entire wizarding world. Ever read Gadding with Ghouls by Gilderoy Lockhart, Mr. Potter? That Gilderoy Lockhart's a fascinating man. And so good looking, too.
hello there, Harry. I found all your things, Ginny. Oh, Harry, you're so wonderful. No, really, it was nothing. You're such a kind boy, Harry. You really deserve a famous witches and wizards card. Mrs. Weasley. Gilderoy Lockhart signing copies of his latest book in Flourish and Blots. We were thinking of going in to see him. Would you like to come with us, Harry? Oh, uh, well, okay then. Thanks. Let's go inside. 